Hello, welcome. Tree leaves. Okay, the first thing we need is a tree. I have one here. I've made ready to go. Okay, so now what we need is a tree leaves base. I'm going to make a simple one with a half sphere. I'm going to add a sphere. I'm going to add a sphere with uh, minimal rings and segments, something like that. I'm going to cut it in half, drag it up to the base, something like there. I'm going to scale it by say three. I'm going to smooth it out. Grab it, the ring, this ring here, extrude those, right click to cancel that, click M for merge and at center. Now, I'm going to quickly bevel the edge a bit, and then we have a base ready for our leaves. Make sure to apply scale, let's go to rename this, tree leaves base. There we go. Now we need a, let's add a material to this tree. Leaves. Name it something like that, I don't know. Okay. Okay, before we apply a texture, we need to UV unwrap this space. Let's go to UVs. I'm going to do a quick lazy UV. I'm just going to select some edges like so I'm gonna add select the sides a full half mark seam select all and unwrap we have a wrap here to overlap these I'm going to change the snap to vertex find it here, select these and drag them on top, scale it, same with these ones, there we go, we got our UV ready, now we need a texture, let's add one here, let's name it tree leaves, base, I'm going to keep it 124, click OK. Let's quickly save this texture to our desktop. There we go. OK, now let's open that texture. But before we do, let's add our image to our sh material. Select your base. Shift A, let's add our texture, image texture. Let's find the texture in space. Change the interpolation to closest. And I'll we'll connect it to BSDF. Turn specular down and roughness up. There we go. Now let's open our texture up in Photoshop. Here it is. I have a texture ready. It's pretty much this here, which is made with just these layers here. Pretty much. I used a dual axis and made these leaves, which will be the base for my leaves. So I got this. Put it on a texture. Let's save. Let's go back to Blender to our texture and reload. There we go. We have our texture here. 
Okay, with our base texture done, let's create our individual leaves. So, first thing I do is let's add a plane. I'm going to scale it by half, dot five, apply scale. So, I'm going to rotate it on the x axis by 90. I'll just apply that rotation as well. So now let's add a material to our leaf. Tree, tree, tree leaves single. Nice. Don't need to UV anything with UV for this one since it's just square. Let's go to our texture. Uh, let's add a texture for this. Tree leaves single. I'm going to make this a 512 and remove its alpha so it's clear. Now let's add this texture to our material. Shift A texture image. Closest. This is a uh, transparent texture, so I'm going to add the alpha to BS. The shade is alpha, like so. Now let's go back to here. Let's open up Photoshop. I'm sorry, let's save our texture first, of course. as tree leaf single dot png now let's open it up in photoshop so just like before i have a texture here which is leaves i've made i'm gonna copy this paste it here just like so save let's go back to blender and reload our texture there we go Notice it's black, let's fix that. Go to material, Ch let's change blend mode to alpha clip, and there you go. I'm going to remove the slight highlight by turning our specular off, roughness up. So, to give these leaves more definition, I'm going to just duplicate them about a few times. So, let's take that one by Z not minus 90. Oh, so I'm going to enable backface culling on these, so they only show the front. Got to duplicate this one one more time. Rotate X by minus ninety. There we go. I'm going to, I'm going to join the I'm going to join these loops together. Control J. Just rename them real quick. Go, got our leaves ready. Got to apply the rotation. There we go. So now to create these this fluffy tree leaves look, we're going to use an add-on called Scatter Objects. This here, which will scatter these leaves around this base mesh here. You can add this add-on by going to Preferences, Add-ons, and search for Scatter. And you will you can find it here. It's an add-on here for Blender. So once you have this add-on, let's select our single leaves first, then our base mesh. Let's click F3, search for scatter. Let's add that. You notice here a pop-up has come up. That means you're ready to scatter. You simply drag your mouse across your base and you can add some leaves. I'm going to add enough so most of the area is covered. A good amount. Depends on what type of tree leaves obviously you are going for. But over here in this tab, top tab, 
you can change sub settings like density for instance scale I'm going to scale that up a bit that looks pretty good to me and to click enter and crash okay I'm sorry for that I have no idea why I crashed but hopefully that's not happening to you okay let's try that again I've selected both go to scatter let's scatter our leaves like so now hopefully if I click enter it will not crash okay we've applied as you can see they're too small let's fix this let's fix this by selecting this let's just scale this up a bit so they're nice and dense like so as you can see you're getting this fluffy nice tree leaves effect already now we do need to fix this problem let's select our leaves click Control A, let's make instances real. Boom, they are all individual now. Uh, let's let's join, let's select one, hold shift and click a leaf. Now click Control J, let's join them. And yes, this happens, <laughs> let's delete that. And that, we've lost our leaves, but you can easily recover that by making a duplicate before. We now have our leaves individually. We can delete this duplicator, and there we go. Got our leaves. Now, as you can see, or if you have noticed, the shading is not correct. We've got a lot of individual normals. We can easily fix this by recalculating our normals and copying a object's normals okay to do that let's make an object to copy from I'm going to put this in my main collection first let's delete that one rename these to tree leaves go so let's add a well for this particular leaves I'm going to add a sphere let's go into wireframe mode grab it up scale it so it captures the all the leaves the leaves are inside the sphere like so on all sides beautiful Okay, so this acts like a cage. Let's smooth this sphere out. Select our leaves. Let's go to modify. Let's add the data transfer modifier. Now, the source. Let's select our sphere. Go to face corner data. Let's enable that. Custom normals. Uh, let's enable nearest corner or nearest face custom normals enable auto smooth let's add that to our leaves go to data and enable auto smooth now we can click apply let's hide our sphere and there you go the leaves are now smoothed correctly shaded correctly So that's pretty much it, the leaves are done. You could also animate these leaves, maybe I'll make that in another tutorial. If you'd like that, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, goodbye.